डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर क्लास ऑन जे आर एफ एस आर एफ नेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू जनरल नॉलेज टू सो हियर इन दिस सेकेंड क्लास वी जस्ट ट्राई टू रिकैप्चुलेट वाट वी अंडरस्टूड इन द जनरल नॉलेज वन क्लास इलियर ओके नाउ सी इंडियन एकॉनमी इज लैंड सर्प्लस Labor surplus economy. From that we started our journey. The total geographical area is three hundred and twenty-eight point seven four or three hundred and twenty-nine million hectares. Cropping intensity is one hundred and thirty-five percent. And uh, as far as uh, certain major crop, you know, the food security crop is rice is concerned. Uh, rice is uh, considered okay from the viewpoint of uh, uh, commercial activity. So. it is seen as a commercial crop in haryana and punjab whereas it is a subsistence crop in odisha so like that you know we tried to understand in the first class now in this class some okay as i said down the general knowledge which we are discussing is no doubt okay keeping in view agriculture to the extent possible even animal husbandry and horticulture also because the, as i said in the first class no Uh, paper sector being a senior most professor never never and never try to give tough questions which cannot be uh, answered by the student so it is only uh, uh, to see you know about all the service oriented nature of the, the mind setup of the student so whether he is vigilant about the basic things whether he is a, a vigilant about the advances taking place if any food security problem is that has he has some uh, some fundamental basic knowledge on the things around him that is the purpose of general knowledge of course as far as the main course is concerned the purpose is different so keeping in view these things uh, so let us go to some uh, important uh, bits uh, that would appear in the uh, okay jrf srf net 2022 now most poisonous pollution the most poisonous pollution in water is arsenic a r s e okay and i c arsenic maximum concentration of ozone is found in which layer of the atmosphere maximum concentration of ozone now see why which layer atmosphere has got different layers troposphere stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and exosphere ozonosphere extends from starts from from the bottom if you see not from the sun from the upper side from the bottom troposphere there is no ozonosphere stratosphere it starts around 35 km it extends up to 55 km so it is in the mesosphere so most of the ozone concentration is in is in not in first troposphere and mesosphere it is in stratosphere the second layer from the surface of the earth so ozone concentration is maximum in stratosphere second thing is most commonly used disinfectant for of water most commonly used now this is the summer going on now in the summer what happens you know water gets polluted so the Uh, disinfectant used is chlorine c h l o r i n e the most poisonous pollutant in water is the arsenic now a uh, gas is responsible for acid rain so we get the rain orographic rain okay convection rain cyclonic rain but sometimes we get the acid rain acid rain acid rain so why it is so because in the industrial area so so2 and no2 are there so2 and no2 there okay they act as a nuclear condensation and acid rain we get it the gas responsible for bhopal gas tragedy is uh, methyl isocyanate M I C methyl isocyanate. Methyl isocyanate was used for manufacturing of carbaryl. Carbaryl C A R B A R Y L R B O. What are it? Carbaryl. Okay, right. Now here I would like to impress upon you that uh, neem neem tree, which has got patent in the year 2005, Bhopal gas has occurred well before that. Please note, please note, please note that methyl isocyanate. This bit will come. Bhopal gas is a methyl isocyanate. Okay, now so it is used for manufacturing carbon. Okay, another thing is that the 
polar uh, the creek which is not affected by missile isocyanate it is the neem that's why neem has got uh, patent in the year 2005 of course even after that uh, so what i would like to impress upon you is that in the memory type process uh, these things are there another interesting thing i would like to share with you is uh, india okay if you take india uh, there is uh, an interesting thing uh, okay the mag this bit will come in the srf or uh, they are even in the entering in the net national level test also while going for interview they may be asking you so okay maximum support price is uh, declared by government of india okay over here to provide uh, incentives to the farmers uh, for uh, raising the production of crops please note this is an absolutely correct statement what is the thing maximum support price msp is given by india okay government government of india to what number one uh, 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 incentive to provide incentives to the farmers for raising the production of crop number one number two for buffer stock as far as buffer stock is concerned is created uh, to distribute food grains uh, to the deficit area buffer stocks of food grains are given okay uh, to give or uh, to provide a uh, uh, food grains to the deficit areas where there are uh, less crop production areas or in a particular if crop production is less to cope up that one buffer stocks are used and among the proper spread of the society at the lower price than the market price certain sections of the society may be affected by drought so for them maximum price okay uh, uh, lesser than the maximum price uh, the food grains are supplied surplus food grains are supplied here what i am uh, interested to impress upon you is that four statements are given in your exam in that you know uh, okay one statement correct another statement incorrect two statements are correct both statements are wrong like that they are given in that uh, uh, to test the ability of the food these questions are asked here i would like to impress upon you is that maximum support price every year is declared by government of india for what to provide incentives to the farmer for raising the crop it is a correct statement second one is the buffer stock is created to distribute food grains to the deficit areas and among the proper strata of the society at a lower price than the market price so these two are the correct statements if a question is given that uh, you should write it then so which which of the okay global association which are the global association of the nations in the world to help cooperation in international law to for cooperation in international law security for economic development okay uh, security economic development social equality Se law security economic development equality for all these things uh, what is the okay uh, global association of nations uh, uno united nations organization uno is the uh, organization at the global level for these things uh, now uh, as far as uh, okay uh, pork production is concerned as far as pork production is concerned some facts i would like to share with you pork production number 1 uttar pradesh provides the largest amount of pork Assam has the largest number of pork producing uh, pigs okay and uh, pork constitute about 7.6% of the total meat produced in India okay pork constitute 7.6% of the total meat produced in India UP produces uh, or provides the largest amount of pork Assam has the largest number of pork producing pigs so uh, these are the things i would like to share with you as far as the advanced questions are concerned coming back to some memory type questions okay the gas responsible bhopal gas tragedy is methyl isocyanate mic it is used for carburetor production to produce to manufacture carburetor a neem is the plant a tree which was painted in the in india 2005 of course there is no relation between these two, these two. however neem is the tree which was not 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 affected by methyl isocyanate that was released in the bhopal gas tragedy now proteins are made up of fundamental question don't think such questions are also will be asked yes they are asked only to know the uh, student's ability so proteins are made up of uh, amino acids okay contribution of uh, 
इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर टू द जीडीपी ग्रास डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट जीडीपी इन सम बुक्स यू विल फाइंड 15 इन सम बुक्स यू विल फाइंड 14 इन सम बुक्स विल फाइंड 14.2 से इफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ आवर एग्रीकल्चर टू द जीडीपी इज 14 इज गिवन यू टेक इट 15 इज गिवन यू टेक इट ओके एनीवेयर बिटवीन 14 टू 15 नाउ द प्लाउ यूज्ड फॉर ओके टू टर्न द सोइल इज टू टर्न द सोइल देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लैंड प्रिपरेशन ओके प्राइमरी टिलेज सेकेंडरी टिलेज सीड बेड प्रिपरेशन सो इन द प्राइमरी टिलेज वी गो फॉर लैंड टिल इन जनरल इन द कोस्टल एरिया सो मोल्ड बोर्ड प्लाउ इज द वन व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर ओके टर्निंग ऑफ द टर्निंग ऑफ द टर्निंग ऑफ द सोइल नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज द कार्बोहाइड्रेट व्हिच इज only present in animals glycogen g l y c o g e it is present only in animals not in the human being now the state in which maximum pesticide consumption is on the pradesh in the first class we we'll try to understand the maximum fertilizer consumption per hectare is in punjab 212 kg per hectare the maximum fertilizer consumption state in india is up because of the larger area is there etc cross cross row now the maximum pesticide consumption is andhra pradesh now the next one is the first all india coordinated research project the first all india coordinated research project was uh, uh, on maize in the year 1957 1957 first national or research center first national research center it is a groundnut okay the region inhabited by the region on the earth inhabited by okay uh, animals or living things uh, both uh, okay on the land ocean and atmosphere is known as biosphere the once again i would like to read the statement the a region inhabited by living organisms on the land on the water in the atmosphere is biosphere b i o s p h e r e now the northern india rains occurs this bit will come in northern india the rains occurs because of dash no doubt south west monsoon is there no doubt but however it is due to a global phenomena called western disturbances western disturbances two more bits will come western disturbances uh, the rain that occurs due to western disturbances is uh, non monsoon rain number one the second thing is uh, western disturbances are extra tropical cyclone they are the extra tropical cyclone another bit will come in the uh, western disturbances is the the phenomena of uh, the mechanism of uh, western disturbances is uh, driven by westerlies w e s t e r l i e s so these are the associated bits uh, that would appear in the uh, examination so now let us see the national agricultural rural development bank nabard national agricultural rural development bank uh, is uh, established uh, was established otherwise you know on uh, uh, okay uh, in the year 2001 uh, Uh, 1800 and, uh, 1982 no uh, 1982 okay uh, in uh, okay uh, india okay rural of in nabard national bank for rural n a b a r d okay in nabard national agriculture rural development bank okay in the year 19 82 it was established national agricultural insurance scheme nais which is which we know it as rashtriya krishi bima yojana is sponsored by general insurance corporation it is sponsored by uh, rashtriya krishi bima yojana okay in english we call it as national agricultural insurance scheme it is uh, sponsored by general insurance corporation okay the total agricultural credit contribution as far as uh, agricultural credit contribution is concerned commercial bank provide 75% if uh, 74 is given if please tick 75 is given it is 100% correct okay 74% or otherwise 75% is given by the commercial bank 15% approximately in some books you will find 17% so depending upon the answer given 15 to 17% are by the cooperatives and 9% by the rural bank in other words to remember very easily 75% by the commercial bank 
15 percent by the uh, cooperatives, 10 percent by the rural banks. Otherwise, the exact numbers are given 74, 79. So these things. Now, the uh, accumulation of nutrients in a lake. Accumulation of okay uh, nutrients in a lake are poured due to human intervention or natural uh, processes is known as a death eutrophication e u t r o okay p h i c a t i o n again I would like accumulation of nutrients accumulation of nutrients by natural processes or by human intervention is known as eutrophication okay um, eutrophication now the farmers uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, the farmers are interested uh, to raise their crops. Okay, however, 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 sometimes you know uh, they get uh, uh, lesser image. That's why maximum support price is uh, given by India, uh, government of India. Buffer stock is concerned. Okay, buffer stock is concerned. Buffer stocks are maintained by Indian government uh, for two purposes. One where there is a surplus, where there is a deficit production, number one. Two, certain strata of the society needs uh, uh, food grains uh, uh, lesser than the market price. So, buffer stocks are used for, okay, for that particular purpose. This uh, is an important thing. Of course, the Bayaladela range of hills in Basta district of Chhattisgarh is famous for uh, high grade uh, hematite deposits high grade hematite deposits uh, are uh, very much uh, available in uh, the Bayladilla uh, that famous you know, famous uh, is known as Bayladilla Bayladilla iron ore that's also called as uh, ND, uh, NMDC National Mineral Development Corporation of India okay uh, extracts uh, the iron from the okay uh, Bayadilla iron ore areas. So Bayadilla in Basar district hilly areas, uh, high grade uh, hematite uh, deposits are seen. Thank you very much for your uh, very patient hearing.